Hello again, welcome back to the Paranoid channel where I can't remember if I actually hit record. I did, alright. Hi there. Now let's fix up our loading system. So, I'm in the third person game mode and I wish that we could just take all of this, but we can't. But I am going to copy that sequence node from our save game function. And I'm going to get rid of all this and paste it right here. Alright, so in the save game function, we're casting to where we're storing all our variables and setting them to what they are inside the player. Now to reverse that, we got to cast to the player and get all these variables and set the ones inside the player to what's stored. So, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab my player reference right here, and I'm going to just drag out my save game func oh, function. There we go. Which one is this? There we go. Okay. And drag this over a little bit. So, from the player reference, I'm going to set location, set level, set my gold, oh, set my actor transform form set actor transform this is so that if you got multiple save points it'll warp you to the right one I'm going to set name basically everything through here you're just gonna go down and get a set version of it out of your player Try to spell it right, not my strong suit, but you know. Let's see, max health. Set my current mana. I'm gonna drag all these over and create a second category list. Set max mana. Alright, so. Current XP. Next le oh, level. Setting my strength. Whew. All right, set defense. Set sword info. Set shield info. Now, one thing that we will do differently um, off the set sword and shield info is we're going to call our destroy gear spawn gear function basically off of each one uh, if they're valid. That way, um, I'm going to move this over. That way, when we load the game, it'll actually spawn our equipment onto them, so set accessor infer set my bow info set inventory set inventory size Set spell selected and set spells known. Alright. We will have to come back to our save system later on when we get to the quest portion uh, so that we can save and load quests appropriately. Whoa, now I'm just going to move all this into place. I probably shouldn't have just yet. Probably should have waited until I had them all hooked 
to my save information, but oh well. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna move this down. Isn't that kind of pretty though? I like that. All right, so the first one, SP location. So we will get our location. So again, we're setting all the variables inside the player reference according to the variables that we're getting from our player save. So let's see. Get level. Really, really, you can use this list to go around and know what you need to pull to get version of. So get gold. Player transform. And remember, you want to get version of all these. So get name. Get current health. Oop, uh, all right. Get max health. Get current mana. Max mana. It's tedious, isn't it? Get next level. Let's see. Get strength. Get defense. Ah, uh, don't get that node. Get sword info. Get shield info. Get ACC info. Get bow info. I'm going to try to keep them all in the same order as best I can. Drop them in place. Oh, it's easier to just boom, 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 boom. What was that last one? Bow info. So get arrow info. Get inventory. Get inventory size get spell selected and then get spells known awesome I'll drop these all in position too roughly about where they'll go and then it's just a matter of hooking all these up and then hooking all that up so it's just boom They're getting a little off track, so I'm just going to grab everything, move them down a little bit, just kind of cleaning up as I go, as best as I can. Defense, sword info, shield info, accessory, bow info. Inventory, inventory size, spell selected, spells known. All right, so now that, that all that part's done, now we just gotta do this part. So just lining them up and hooking them up to that sequence node. Probably would have been much easier to do before moving them all but that's okay get there anyway 12 13 it's actually not too tedious I suppose a 
Luckily, you can just drag your wire to the edge of the screen and it'll scroll for you instead of having to use the wheel or anything like that. That could be... That would be a pain in the backside, wouldn't it? One more! Hooray! Alright, so now that we've got all that hooked up and that colorful rainbow looking thing off of our set equipment info I'm gonna break them all open except for the accessory info that one doesn't matter so basically I'm just gonna break open the sword shield and bow basically anything that you have actually physically equipped to your player. So I'm going to grab out another reference to my player character and find out if my sword class is a valid class. Branch. Oh, go ahead and hook that. Control C and Control V that a couple times. Hook them up like that. And then just like that. Off the one we're checking, we want to hook it to that branch, and if it's true, then we want to destroy gear and spawn gear. So the destroy gear we set up to be, it would check to make sure it was valid already before it tried to destroy, and anything that's not valid it skips over, so this shouldn't be a problem doing it this way. This way, if you decide to load a game that you're already got, you know, weapons equipped, and you're like, I don't want to be here, let me save real quick, and then load another one, it'll destroy everything that's equipped and spawn your new stuff. So, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna drop this back, whoa. Drop that all back down, let's take a look real quick. So... Just to verify everything, I'm gonna grab a bow, a sword, a shield, a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, one spell ought to be good enough to test. So now I've got zero gold. I've got my equipment, equip equipment equipped. <laughs> some magic learned and some items in my inventory so let's check if I save real quick I'll save right there and now let me exit jump back in I've got nothing I know nothing but if I load yeah my equipment came back my spells re-equipped I have shock? Why do I have shock? I didn't learn shock before. But all my inventory is back. It's all equipped as it should be. That's looking good. Why the hell do I have shock? Oh! Oh, wait, wait. I think I know why. Let me, um, let me delete that file real quick. Pick up a bunch of crap. Learn fireball. Oh, give me that bow. Equip a sword, a shield, a bow. Equip a spell. Now let me save. Alright, now when I jump back in, I have nothing. I know nothing. Oh, wait. I can just do it right here. So I load my information. And I have my sword, shield, bow. All my stuff's back. And shock! What the hell? Why is it giving me... What in the world? Let me go in my spells known. It says zero. Save. So when I'm saving, why is it giving me an extra <laughs> Let me see where I'm setting my saved magical abilities. 
Spells known, zero elements. Spells known, zero elements. Why are you giving me an extra spell? I mean, I'm not really complaining, I don't suppose, but it just doesn't make any sense. It should just be transferring over directly what's... So when I save, let's see, where's my save function? This is it. So when I save, I'm casting to my spells known. And it says zero, so I'm setting it to zero, setting it. Getting from my player, my player defaults to having zero spells. So then when I load, let me click that button and just follow all the, let me follow the trail. Spells known, zero. Spells known, zero. All right. This makes uh, uh, no sense, but you know what? Let's try it one more time. Delete that file. Close the game. Open the game. Full screen. Narrate every move. Click buttons. I'm gonna learn a different spell this time. Let's see what happens if I learn heal. Save. All right. No shock spell. No shock spell. Wait, why do I keep running up to that thing like I can load from there? Alright. Money is right. Spell is right so far. Inventory is correct. I have shock! What? <laughs> why? I don't get it. I don't understand. The game wants me to have this spell. I don't know why. I will look into it. But for now, that is, you know, the save and load and letting it um, put your equipment back. I'll figure out what's going on there and I'll make a video. Maybe y'all's isn't doing that. It didn't do it in my other version. I don't know why it's doing it now. It's kind of funny, though. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll look into it and figure it out, and I'll, I'll get back to you. So, that's it for loading stuff and re-equipping your stuff. Oh. Well, wait, wait. One more thing that we can show you. Look. So, if I copy another one of these out real quick, and I set it over here, and I change this. This was going to be, um, the Aldari Wastes. Wastelands. Wastes sounds cooler. With a comma. Yeah. Alright, so if I jump in and I run over to my, my new save point and I save and then I run way over here and I load my data, it should teleport. Yeah. Teleports me right back to where I was. When it Did it give me the spell? It gave me the spell. There's something wrong with my look. I don't know what's happening. I'll look into it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you now. You can have multiple save points, multiple save slots. Um, yeah. Alright, so I will see y'all in the next one after I figure out why the hell the game wants me to have shock lightning. Catch y'all later. Bye.